Praise the Lord, it's Pastor Larry. We're out doing a walk and talk this morning. It's been a while, I've been busy. But um, anyhow, I wanna talk about what's going on in Washington, D.C. as far as these, these gun legislation they're trying to come up with. Listen, these fools in uh, Washington, D.C., jokers, clowns, whatever you wanna call them, they're not serving we the people. They're only serving themselves. They don't care about your children. I've, I've heard, I've kind of looked at pieces of this, this gun legislation they want to pass. You know, it does nothing to stop school shootings. I'm telling you right now, what they're passing is not going to stop school shootings, okay? They're not serious, folks. All they're re really serious about is chipping away at your Second Amendment rights. That's all they're interested in doing is trying to make that Second Amendment null and void. One little piece of legislation at a time, which is a violation to their oath to office to protect the Constitution of the United States. All right, so they got a red flag laws in there which the Constitution says you cannot deprive uh, any American citizen without due process. So they wanna take away your due process rights, okay? So that's a that's a violation of your rights. Uh, second of all, you know, they want to make it harder for people to do their own gun repairs by limiting and uh, taking away your right to purchase parts, not guns, but parts, uh, unless you're an FL L license holder. Um, which again is is a, is a which is a violation of your rights okay and they do a little bit for the schools and that's it you know why why isn't this why isn't this this gun laws that they're trying to pass this 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 crime bill whatever they want to call it focus on preventing mass shootings okay number one they can make money available for public schools to hire full-time security guards since the police are unwilling to do their job, or they can make grants available for schools that want to train their teachers to be defenders. That should be the, that should be the number one priority of this bill. Second of all, they should use the, um, uh, uh, they should have um, law, a law saying that if you're on a psychotropic drug, you have to have a doctor's release to uh, own a firearm saying that you're not a danger to the public health okay if you're on a psychotropic drug why isn't that in the law all right that's that's if you dig down and you do some research you'll find that probably 90 90 percent of these shooters are on some kind of psychotropic drug when they start committing these crimes all right so that's not in the law and then why aren't they having any um congressional hearings on this if this is such an important issue which it is because number one they're infringing upon they're infringing upon our rights as citizens our second amendment rights the right to bear arms uh, shall not be infringed um why, and, and and these mass school shootings have not stopped you know they keep happening every so often why aren't they having some congressional hearings on this why aren't they bringing some experts and trying to solve this before the american public huh why aren't they doing that they spent uh, the democrat party spent a half a billion dollars investigating the january 6 uh uh january 6 riot we'll call it a riot i will give them that all right, where only one person was killed with a firearm and she was killed trying to keep people out of an unauthorized area by the Capitol Police. That was the only discharge of a firearm that I know during that January 6th uh, riot. Uh, and, and so here we have children being murdered in mass and they just want to ramrod uh, gun legislation through 
and take away your rights and infringe upon your rights as law-abiding citizens and do nothing to, to prosecute and to stop the criminals that commit these crimes. You know, public executions for these idiots. How about that? Automatic death penalty if you live if you're caught doing this or you you, you you know you don't commit suicide or get shot by the police so you know this is a joke these people are a joke all right they are not leaders they are deceivers they are traitors they are uh, uh only into a politics for themselves into politics to enrich themselves and not serve the American people. All right, we need to wake up, people. We need to wake up. You need to call your senators. You need to call your congressmen and tell them they're a joke. Write them. Tell them. I tell Rubio and Scott all the time, you know, you guys are a joke. You don't do anything. You, you know, why aren't we having congressional hearings? Bring in some experts. Bring in some counter views and let's have a dialogue about this let's find a solution that works these laws that they're passing are doing nothing but attacking the rights of the people chipping away at the second amendment rights and they are not going to protect our children this is pastor larry i wish i had good news to bring uh i won't leave you with this Jesus is still on the throne. He's in control and he's coming back. But before he comes back, church, you better wake up because we're gonna have to go through some pain. If the early church had to go through persecution and tribulation, don't you think for a moment, buddy, that we're not gonna get out of here without some pain. Uh, America's in a piss poor place, uh, spiritually, mentally and financially because we turned our backs on God. Um, but for those Christians that are awake and ready and looking up for the coming of the Lord, He is coming. That is our, that is our joy. That is our, our hope. We have a future. These these ungodly men and women who think they're all that, their time of leadership and rulership will come to an end. God bless you, it's just a voice in the wilderness, trying to speak out, wake people up, one soul at a time. Have a blessed day.